here comes the crew. <laughs> She's gonna be a fun day today. Why, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. It is very snowy out today. We're off to an old logging camp today. This one I don't believe anyone's been to, so we'll see. We got Jansen from J Steel Adventures and Variety here, and Willie is, I don't know where Willie went, he's somewhere. We got the quad fired up, we got a trail to go down, our cars can't make it because it's too snowy. So I'll meet you down there, see what we find today. We arrived at where we gotta start walking, so we're following. There's a kind of a river valley over here that goes through a bunch of rocks, so hopefully we can just go straight shot in through here. I wanted to show this uh, big old pine tree. It doesn't really do it justice way back here. That thing was absolutely huge. I was going right over the trail. Maybe on the way back I can try to get some footage. We'll see. So, onward we go through the snow. See what we can find. We're about halfway. Stopped to have a little bit of a break. Snow's not too bad. At least in the bush it's maybe, what would you call this? Like two, three inches of snow maybe? It's, it's not too bad. So it's not not bad walking. The ground's not frozen underneath. There you go. It's it's that much on the Willy Finger O meter. <laughs> so uh, yeah, like I said, we're halfway there. And uh, give us a bit. We'll hopefully find the site and find some cool stuff for you guys. I believe that's it down in this valley here. We'll soon find out. So see you guys down there. Hopefully it's what I expect. <laughs> okay, we're down in the valley and definitely a site. Uh, Willy and Jansen has found our first. Uh, access to the sites. Yeah, they're not double. I have no idea what year this place is yet, and I can't tell by singles. I know doubles are at least 1920s and normally below, so uh, it's hard to tell the foundations. You can kind of see them, but I don't know if I'll be able to film them for you guys. Um, like, there's one like right, I hate like you can't really sell it, see, so I don't know if I'll be able to do a little explore the site for you, but uh, we'll get you guys back up if we find a blacksmith shop or anything cool. Well, we found the cookery dump, I'm pretty sure. Uh, coolest thing so far is the spigot. So I'm pretty sure the site is going to be late teens into the 20s because we have some bottles over here, I'll show you. Nothing too fancy, but it dates the dump, or dates the site, I guess. Oh God, I didn't know, man, where these things were. Uh, oh, I'm standing on it actually, right here. So here's one. If the snow wasn't here, it'd make it a lot easier. So these are food jars. This one is machine made. Yeah, that's a machine made one. Uh, again, not manganese, late teens into 20s. And then over here, uh, there's uh, two bottles I'd pulled out. A good old screw top, which gross. And then this guy, this is tooled. That has a, uh, I'll get it to focus here for you guys. So that has a tooled lip right there. And it is just a, where did I see embossing? I thought I seen embossing on here. Maybe I didn't, but it's a contents 16 fluid ounces, I believe, there it is right there. I don't know if you guys can probably see that, probably not. Yeah, there you go, contents something fluid ounces. So these are like a transition phase. So I'm gonna say the late teens, that's what I'm gonna say. Well, we're gonna scrape around here a little bit and then who knows, maybe we'll find the shop, blacksmith shop and we'll go from there. And Willie said there are some foundations farther away, so I'll see if I can film those for you. At least we got an age for the site. Leaving the uh, the cookery dump or whatever over there, uh, Willie and Jansen had found this earlier. It's an old uh, wood stove. Still has some of the fire bricks inside. Has an enamel thing right here. It's a little bit roached, or I would have tried taking that off, but that's pretty cool. Very neat. And there's where the stove pipe would have went. So there's a few other weird metal hits around here. There's a bucket right there by Willie. There's bail rings. Still searching for the blacksmith shop, but 20s sites or late teens, I don't know. We'll see what we can find. Here's the first visible, well, very visible foundation, at least over by Willie. So, uh, you guys might be able to see it. It's bermed up right here. Scoots across over here. I'm gonna come stand on it. Comes all the way over there, and then kind of scoots back around here. So that's the fur 20 site. My God, this place, jeez, barely visible. Now with all the snow, you'd probably be able to see a lot of stuff better because tons of buckets, nothing's been moved, so no one's been here. 
It's just uh, a little bit too new for my liking, but hey, it's still neat. No one's been here. And there is still the possibility of log hammers. So we'll see what we can find. We found the blacksmith shop, but uh, I'm gonna show this first. I don't know if you can see kind of where the sun's going. That's the old tote road coming into camp. Goes kind of straight up the hill there. Uh, we also have the first horseshoe of the site over here. Ah, right next to the tote road right there. Oh man, I hope this isn't fogging up too bad. I, or even focusing for whatever, horseshoe. And then we have a uh, single headed ax and the first double headed ax of the site. So that one's actually not in bad shape. So there we go, there's some ax heads. And over there, you might be able to see the orange cap of Mr. Jansen. That's where we believe the blacksmith shop is. A few odds and ends coming out. So I'll bring you over there and show you what we're finding. Over at the shop here, Willie has a nice fire going in this trough looking thing we found. <laughs> so he's just starting that up. Uh, Jansen had found this over at the, uh, the bottle dump. It's a huge old meat grinder with everything still there. I don't know if he's dragging that out. I don't think I want to. And then we have this cool, he's dragging that out. Oh, Willie's dragging it out. Okay, and then we have a big piece of sleigh gear. Oh, he's got a double-headed axe. That's your first one on the site? Yeah. First one on the site over there. And like I said, this is a, I don't know, Willie's thinking some sleigh tack. It's pretty cool, but uh, I don't know. I might drag that out of here. It might go on the wall pretty well. And then a really nice axe head from the one I just showed. I might be keeping that. Why not? Okay, so I'll meet you over by uh, Jansen and show you kind of some of the other stuff coming out. Over by Jansen, oh, there's a bottle in a tree. That's one I might be keeping there. It's a tooled one. Uh, so some cool ones here so far out of the shop. This is a neat looking hook. I don't know, kind of cool. I haven't found a hook like that yet. Kind of cool. I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't have these above me when I'm digging, that's probably a horrible idea. <laughs> I have a bunch of horse tack right here, kind of in the trees. Uh, we got a cool double headed ax right here. This one's in not terrible condition. It's a bit muddy but that should clean up relatively well. And then that's the other side, it's basically right on the surface. So yeah, this place hasn't been got to before, which is fantastic. All right, and then we have another hook in the tree right there. And I, I think I said Jansen had a ax head there in the clip before, so it's covered in snow now, it's a snow head. <laughs> All right, so this whole area is ringing up. Uh, most of it is surface seeming, so I don't know, who knows, should be a, hopefully, hopefully there's an accident, or not an accident, sorry, hopefully there's a hammerhead in here, that'd be great. Not much more came out of here. Oh, it's so rooty. So, um, here's a bunch of uh, horseshoes we pulled out of here. Not uh, too many like other sites have, but, I don't know, newer sites, so. And then over here, I want to show this. Um, oh, let's see here, let's get through the bush. Boy. This is rather cool. So it's by the stove here that I showed earlier. There's a friggin' grinding wheel here. Check that out. I thought that was a chunk of metal, but um, I figured it was it Willie or was it Jansen that said this was a grinding stone? Willie, Willie said this was a grinding stone. So that is, that's pretty darn cool. And it had the, oh God, the handle. It's still on it right there. That you'd crank it with, very cool. So I have a little wrap up over there. So I'll kind of show you guys what we found at this site and we're gonna start trekking out of here. This is gonna be our little wrap up right here. Kind of was a bad spot. I put it right by the fire. <laughs> the smoke's going right over it. Uh, no uh, hammerheads today, which kind of sucks. Bunch of double headed axes, single headed axes. Uh, this cool, I don't know what this, uh, there should have been a pulley inside there we think. Would have been kind of neat, but no pulley left in it. A snatch, a snatch block? Yeah. Snatch block, Willie thinks. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the one bottle I'm just I'm gonna keep because it's just a transition bottle. It's kind of funny. It's like a just a tool bottle, but it's from the 20s. Kind of cool. I'm keeping that cool little hook. Uh, and oh yeah, we found this. Check this out. Oh. So what kind of axe? Not axe. What kind of thing do you think this was again, really? Squaring up logs. He thinks. Oh god, I'm right in the smoke. Oh, my eyes are burning. So that was kind of cool. I might drag that out of here. That's neat. I might clean up nice, put it on the wall. Very cool. And there was an axe head, or sorry, not an axe head, a um, uh, pickaxe that came out here too as well. So I think I'm gonna keep one axe head over there and the single one, just cause I haven't kept a single one, it's in decent shape. So just kind of save it from the site. So I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure and we'll see you on the next one. Oh God, I don't know if we'll, oh geez, okay, I'm getting out of the smoke. Okay, yeah, see you guys on the next adventure. 
Well, it's fun. Again, we got Willie and we got Jansen from J Steel's Adventure and Variety. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. I walked out of the bush. I don't know if you can hear it yet. Willie and Jansen are coming. They got to pick me up later. But that is that huge tree from before at the beginning of the video. That is a huge pine. And here come Willie and Jansen passing me. And uh, they're gonna be, well, Willie's gonna be back picking me up later. So, there they go. Well, I'm gonna be walking out a little bit. So, I'm gonna be here in the dead quiet of the bush. Very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And now, I guess we'll see you on the next one. I keep doing like double intros. <laughs> Take care guys, see you later.